Okay, so you have a BMW E46 with a fancy Harman Kardon sound system. And it's old now, and it sounds like garbage. You're thinking, oh my god, I gotta get new speakers. So what we're gonna do is just pop all the door panel off by, by pulling out these little clips. Use yourself a T20 Torx screwdriver there. It's gonna pull those guys out and uh, save all your screws and clips in a pile. We're gonna check these speakers out and see if uh, we can fix or replace or repair and get sounding good again, like it should be. That was easy. All right, so we got two screws here under the trim panel, and uh, the long one goes in front, at least on mine. Don't mind my frustration here. This was the first time, and uh, all this banging and tugging and pushing up won't work. These actually all pull straight back, so you're gonna see that tugging didn't work, but I'm pulling it straight back from the left side, and it came right out, so save yourself the hassle. Now these speakers disconnect, there's just like a little button and then you can pull the plugs right out. Same with uh, both speakers. This right here is your door handle catch, again it pulls straight out. Super easy. Alright, the speaker uses a Phillips screwdriver and uh, we sped it up here for your convenience. We want to inspect the speaker and see its condition. First look, it looks pretty good. Now these foam surrounds are what tend to break down over time. And this has good suspension. It doesn't feel sticky. I'm going to just assume that uh, this one's okay, so we'll put it back in its place. And here's a little one. Good luck replacing this. Gotta figure that one out. Alright, so this little speaker here, don't overthink it. I had uh, put the mounting uh, ring back on for some silly reason, and I'm removing the plastic the, the mounting brackets off the back they just pop right in with a, a flat blade screwdriver it's a simple snap and uh, don't bother with that wire it's not going to come out too easy I'm just going to take that ring off you should have already had it off and pull these tabs outward and the speaker will just fall right through As you can see, this is what happens to the foam surrounds when they go bad. It crumbles, it cracks, it breaks, and this is why your speakers sound like garbage. 
these are uh, not giving the speaker the ability to bounce back and they just sound like trash. So this speaker is not something that you can replace too easy. It's um, a weird size and you're not going to buy it at Crutchfield and uh, they don't have anything that mounts there very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild it. You can clean up this foam. You gotta get the old stuff off. And uh, we're gonna see about putting some new surrounds on. And uh, that'll solve everything. So what you want to use is a, uh, a solvent of some sort, uh, lacquer thinner or acetone, something that's going to get the goop off. And um, take your time, use a Q-tip, do something uh, you know that's that's not going to be invasive, but clean it up. You got to get the old goop off before you put some new glue on, and uh, you want to make sure it's going to be able to stick in the long run. So take your time and do a good job. Alright, I got this kit from Simply Speakers and this is the adhesive. What we're going to do a little right around the edge here. And we're going to do it right on the inner ring of the speaker. that set up and stick them together all right so the glues had a moment to tack up on both parts so what we're gonna want to do is just line it up this is a, a contact cement type of deal and so as long as you know it's centered we're gonna just kind of hold it so it doesn't move and Press this down. I'm gonna do it in like a sort of like a star pattern, just tapping it in so it has a chance to stick to itself. And we can work our way around. You just don't want this to be warped. So See that we have good adhesion all the way around. Now we're going to let this set up until we think it's real, like the tack's gone away. And then we'll do the outer rim. So this would be a good time to do your other speaker. All right, glue is set up here on the inner ring and it looks real good. So the trick now is how do we get glue around the underside of this? So I'm gonna just lift it up with a little piece of skewer and we 
just going to add a little. And rotate around. Let that guy settle down now. So we'll let that set up. It's at 24 hours and it's totally cured. So we'll put that in tomorrow. Reassembly, we're just gonna line these up. There's a key right here and a slot for that. So just drop it in until it seats. You're gonna notice the uh, edge here we're gonna push the speaker until it clicks in here that side's done and this side needs to go in let's see if you can see that all right next is the top again with the key here down. And make sure it goes into place. Snap. And we are in. Next step, put it back in the door. sure you put the uh, flat side towards the door panel. Just spin this guy on. Nice and snug. Reattach your plugs. install the door panel. I start at the top. Reassemble all the screws and clips and covers and uh, Check out your new stereo or at least it's it's gonna sound like new again Listen if this uh, video helped you out, please like subscribe share uh, With your help. I can keep producing more how-to videos take care and uh, happy motoring